I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. What is going on, you guys? This is Sarah Cuts for the Win, back with another review. This time, we are talking about Resident Evil 2. Just beat it last night. Just the one playthrough with Leon. I want to make sure you guys know that, but I did want to talk about it and just my overall experience with the game. Uh, I spent a lot of time on it. I, I spent nine hours going around, trying to solve everything, find everything. Uh, there's a lot of backtracking in the game, of course, because it's a survival horror. So there's a lot of finding items, finding keys, solving puzzles, all of that just to get to some extra ammo or some extra backpacks so you have more room uh, in your inventory, which can be a struggle if you don't find them. And uh, just finding different guns and things like that. Uh, I did have a good time just doing that. I felt like once I left the police station then came back, I actually really enjoyed it. I wanted to go back. That's something I didn't expect. I'm not much the backtracker, uh, but with this game, it just it felt right. That's definitely something I can add as a positive for Resident Evil right off the bat um, because I know how it can be off-putting to backtrack. I know that feeling, but with Resident Evil 2... I rarely got it. I wanted to see what was in that door and I wanted to do what I had to do to get the key to get in there, you know? So yeah, backtracking is a heavy part in Resident Evil 2. Um, you can see the graphics are gorgeous. I felt that the entire time the lighting was really good. Uh, some of these enemies just looked crazy. <laughs> they're, they're reimagined, right? This whole game is reimagined. Um, I was kind of checking in with Kenny at times because he played the original. I didn't. So I would ask him, like, is this in the game? Did, did you have to do this? And he was just like, no, <laughs> that's different. So I knew right away, okay, some of the things in this game are different. And that I thought was really awesome, especially how it played out in such a great way as far as pacing, as far as story. It, I was always engaged. I felt like uh, the pacing of the enemies was done really well. These enemies popping out too, especially at the beginning. I thought uh, they were in good spots. I actually had one jump scare that stood out and uh, it was a, a body. It was like a zombie that fell from the ceiling to the floor just out of nowhere. Yeah, I jumped at that part. But overall, I thought I was going to be hitting some jump scares through the whole game. But honestly, my anxiety came from trying to stay alive. That was really the focus. I never really had moments where I'm like scared to be scared. It wasn't really that. It was like, damn. I'm about to die. I'm stressed. I have anxiety right now. It was more that. And that was that was crazy. I felt like I had the the that ultimate, you know, survival experience. Uh, there were times where I was just so low on health. One hit would kill me and I'm limping. I'm trying to get to the next room without running into a liquor. I think that's what they're called. Those guys are crazy. So yeah, that was more so my experience, like just trying to be alive and make it. And that brought this serious amount of intensity, especially when Mr. X started coming around and I was hearing those footsteps, the music would get louder. Yeah, I was getting stressed. So that was awesome. I, overall, when I look back on it, it's like, yeah, it was kind of annoying at times with Mr. X and, you know, he wasn't letting me explore like I wanted to and all of that. But when I look back at it, I felt like, damn, I think I got that perfect experience of just trying to survive and trying to not be noticed and trying to get through. And that intensity and that stress, that's kind of what the game I think was aiming for. At least that's what I'm thinking. And yeah, it hit me pretty hard. I also wanted to mention that your character is just at a, such a disadvantage. He runs slow, okay? I'm talking about Leon right now. <laughs> you know, he's this rookie cop. He doesn't have much on him. You start with like a pistol and then you move up. You try and find as many weapons as you can, as much ammo as you can, and it's scarce, you know? And if you're using it like crazy, you're going to run through it fast. So managing your ammo, managing your inventory, which is small as well, and how much you can carry on you, that becomes the challenge of the game. It's not so much 
having perfect aim or anything like that or shooting them perfectly in the head. No, it's about managing your inventory and managing your ammo and just surviving. And I think that's what makes this game so special is because there's times where I would be looking down a hall or looking at the map and thinking, okay, there's an item in that room. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to put my life on the line for this one item? Do I need it that bad? And I think just having that commentary within myself and thinking about that is what really makes Resident Evil 2 so special. That is Resident Evil 2 to me. It's like wondering, should I get this item now? Should I come back later? Should I save it first? Should I heal up? I can't find health though, so should I do it anyways? Those thoughts would just go through my head every time, especially when my health is so low. Yeah, man, that was, that was pretty awesome. I gotta say, I, I'm smiling talking about it because that's really what my experience was. At the time, it was stressful. It was kind of annoying even. But when I think about it and reflect on it, I think to myself, yeah, that's what made this game so good. I swear, I think Leon was limping the, the whole like last 20% of the game for real. It's like he, <laughs> the struggle was real. And uh, towards the end on one of the bosses, I was literally dying at one hit. So I had to be perfect. I had to be really lucky and I would end up finding a health spray and that would just save my life. It, it was crazy. The intensity of this game was wild at that point. I felt like, damn, this is... This is the ultimate experience right here, the survival horror experience. Yeah, I felt that for sure. Um, but yeah, the health was uh, more of a struggle than um, ammo. I was pretty decent on ammo and I found all the guns and I was able to use, you know, the flamethrower and things like that. It was pretty awesome, especially getting towards like the lab at the end. And I don't want to spoil things or anything, but there's like different enemies that you come across and, you know, the pacing of these enemies and the pacing of these areas I thought was done really well. Um, if I spent too long in an area, it's because I wanted to or it's because I couldn't find or figure out something and I wanted to kind of go over everything. I didn't want to leave any uh, rooms untouched. <laughs> That's really what it came down to. And it, it gave me a C ranking by the end because I spent like nine hours on the game. But I had a good time with it. I really wanted to explore and find out, okay, what's in that that drawer or what's in that key lock or whatever, that uh, safe like, I want to get in there. Even if it's just some bullets, it's so satisfying to figure it out. Yeah, this isn't a game you can just shoot your way out of uh, too much, but that's not really what it's meant to be, I don't think. It's a survival horror, uh, and some people don't like that. Some people, I think, want to just shoot everything and, and be able to take down these zombies in one or two headshots, but that's not this game. Definitely wasn't. And I guess, you know, knowing that going in and, and learning as I go, it just made sense. It felt like the right experience, in my opinion. I just thought it was really well done. And even if you don't like survival horror, you can probably still appreciate how well it's done here because the fact that you don't like it is just showing it did it right, right? So that's how I kind of think of it. But yeah, there's a lot in this game I think that should be praised from the graphics to the sound effects to the bullet damage. There was times I would forget, like I would honestly forget, like, hey, I can shoot off these limbs. I can take out their arms so they can't grab me anymore. That is something I didn't really think about too much because I guess I'm so used to games not doing that. I had to consciously remind myself like, hey, I can take out their arms. I could chop them off or I could shoot them off. And that's so impressive. I mean, with, ga with games like this, it just adds that little touch to it. It adds that detail. And I mean, I guess it tells more about other games, the fact that I couldn't even think of it on my own. I had to really remember. I had to see it on Twitter or something like, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so yeah, they, there's a lot going on in this game that's done so well. Even the voice acting, sometimes it would sound a little corny at times, but it was good at the same time. It's just got that good old school Resident Evil feeling. Um, when it comes to the series, I think I have more time watching it than playing it, and that's one of the rare cases I have because my uncle and my cousins, they used to play Resident Evils all the time, and I would just chill and watch, and we would hang out, we'd turn the lights off, and just get scared, right? That was kind of our experience. Um, but as far as playing the series, I don't have a lot on my resume. I played the first one on the GameCube, and I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. But Resident Evil 2, 
I don't think I ever touched it. <laughs> it's just one of those things that like, yeah, like, yeah, I didn't get my hands on it. And um, every time or most of the time when games like this are remade and reimagined, like Shadow of the Colossus, for example, when it's up to today's standards and I have the income to go ahead and get that game, I have the privilege of getting it. It's like, yeah, I jump on it because these are experiences I didn't have when I was growing up. So I'd like to experience it now and get like this fresh take. And so I hope you guys enjoyed my fresh take on this. I enjoyed my time with Resident Evil 2. It was like a mixed bag of feelings. It was like anxiety and getting annoyed a bit like with Mr. X and, and a couple other enemies. But at the same time, it was like this stress of just wanting to survive. And I think that's what this game intended for. So I feel like I got that ultimate experience. Overall, I enjoyed my time with Resident Evil 2. I'm probably gonna dive in and, and try out the second run or play as Claire, because I haven't played as her yet. Uh, I wanna go back. I, I wanna see what I missed. There's a, a key I didn't get, and I would like to go back and see, you know, what was that? What did I miss? So yeah, Resident Evil 2, you guys, check it out if you have it. I think it's well worth the price. If you wanna wait though, hey, by all means, um, yeah, there's replayability here, there's things to collect, there's things to do. And just if you just went through the first run and then called it a day, man, it, it's a great time. It really is. I think I think there's just so much done well in this game that it can't go unnoticed. Um, it's, it's not necessarily a surprise of the year for me, but it's more so like, damn, I should have had my eye on this a little bit harder. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. But I knew it was going to be of good quality, but I my experience was kind of the what if, like, am I gonna, am I gonna like this? And yeah, it's, I do, <laughs> I really do. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much my review. It's so all over the place. I didn't really write anything down. I'm sure there's a lot I'm missing, but I just wanted to emphasize my experience and how it kind of felt playing this game. Um, yeah, just intense, very intense, just trying to hold on, limping and trying to get to that save. You know, it, it came down to those moments and that's really what became the highlights of my experience. And of course the zombies and, and all of that, you know, they're, they're a highlight too, but I think overall just that survival element was just done on a high tier level. I mean, it just, it just is. If I was going to recommend a survival horror, I'd say, yeah, you got to play this. <laughs> Go play it. Yeah, guys, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed my review. That is it. On to the next game, right? Well, I don't know what it's going to be, but on to the next game. Until my next video, you guys, take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye.